Okay, so we've done our um, German Expressionism prints, and now what we're going to do is present them. And this is a really important part of the process, because I think doing this work is one thing, but then actually taking the time to present it and to make it look nice is, is something else. What we tend to do when we do printing is we take the prints that we've created and then we kind of cut them up and we collage them back together. And I think it's, it's quite a difficult thing to do because you don't want to ruin anything that you've created, but actually it always ends up looking much better when you have taken the time to kind of cut them up and work into them. So we're going to be working on a piece of A2 paper, which takes four prints, but we've, all, we've done many more than that. And that's okay. I think what we want to do is to try to put them all together and get it looking really good and, and get it so that our prints are nice and visible and people can see what it is that we've been trying to do. So I'm going to take my collage ones and I'm going to put those onto my background like so. And I've got one leftover space here. And what I'm going to do is look at the prints that I've got and I'm going to put down the least successful of the ones that I have left. Because it's going to be collaged on top, what you can do is you can use the bits that you cut from these to kind of cover up areas that might not have been quite so successful. So I'm going to put those ones down. I'm going to use this as my starting point. And how you collage them is really very simple. And I think you don't really need to overthink this. So you can take one of your prints. Now, you can tear them like we did when we made our collage backgrounds and you can lay strips across them, or you can cut them. I always used to prefer tearing, but just lately I've quite got into cutting because I think you get more, you get, you get much cleaner edges and more kind of refined sections when you do it with cutting, but really it's up to you. And actually, if you wanted to do a combination of both, I think that would be fine too. But I'm gonna start by cutting, and I'm gonna take the most obvious area, which is this whole head. Now, what I want you to think about when you're cutting this is that everything will be used. The bit that you're focusing on, which for me at the moment is the head, but also the bit around the outside will be used. We might end up cutting it up into smaller pieces, but it will all get used. So when you're cutting, do so carefully. Try not to cut into the edges or go over lines. Just, you know, be very mindful that you're going to use every part of it. So I've now got two sections. I've got this border around the outside edge and I've got the face. Now I could take this face and I could just stick it straight on there like that. And you can start to see how this idea builds up. And that would look absolutely fine, but I don't feel like that's a good use of what I've got because it's covering up an awful lot of this print underneath. And actually there's some lovely elements happening on here. So what I might do is take this one step further and look at it and think, right, I'm actually going to take out this hair section. Again, remembering that every part of what I've got I'm going to use. So I'm going to really quickly cut round this and I'm going to lay it down. Whilst I'm doing that, I'll talk to you about how to layer it up. So this is obviously one colour that I'm cutting out or just one of my prints that I'm laying over the top of others. But I have all these ones here that I want to use as well. Now I can cut out this hair section and I can lay it on. And that's gonna look great, I think, over the top of this. I'm gonna try it on the black one. Well, actually, I'll try it on all of them and then we can decide which one it looks best on. So now I've got these three sections. I've got my background, I've got the face, and I've got the hair. I'm just gonna focus on the hair. So if I put it on top of the black, I think that looks really nice. Let's try it on all of them to make sure we're making the right decision. I don't feel like it's quite as successful on that one. I think it works well on there, but still not as nice as I think it looks on the black. And again, I think that's nice, but not as good as it looks on here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna decide that for now, that one's gonna stay on there. But I have this face section. So does that face section look good on there? Actually, I do quite like that. And I like the fact that these two are next to each other. So let's just have a quick check. I mean, it works well on there as well. And it also works really well on there, but I, I think I like it on here. So for now, I'm just gonna put that down there but I'm not gonna stick anything, and this is important, because I haven't made that final decision yet. And I think for now, I'd rather just lay things out and see how they look. So if I try the outside edge on there, 
I think that works nicely as well. I might cut into that, but for now, let's just keep that on there. And then let's look at some of the prints I've got left. I'm very keen on this one, and I think I'd like to use some elements. I think I'm gonna go a little bit smaller on this and choose some smaller parts of the print. So to start with, I'm just gonna take this section here, cut round that. And let's see what that looks like on there. That works nicely on there. Not less so on there. I don't, I'm not really very keen on it there and I don't really like it there. So let's pop that down there. Now at the moment, I mean, it looks nice and I'm happy with it, but it looks a little bit out of place. And I think that's probably because this orange isn't anywhere else. So now I'm gonna go for a bit more of a challenge. I'm gonna take out just this orange side of the face here. Right, so I've taken this section out and I'm going to place that up here. It feels like the right place to put that and I think when I've got that on there, I like how that looks. And then I've also been left with this really lovely, unusual face section just here. I think what I'm going to do is just tidy that off there and cut that round. And then take this section And I'm going to try that on there. And I think that looks good. I'm quite happy with that. And for now, I'm just going to take that piece and I'm going to put it to one side. So I have two pieces left now that I can decide to collage on. So I'll take this section just here. Try that down there. And then I might focus on some slightly smaller areas which I can collage over the top of others. So as you can see, you can just keep collaging into areas and just building up and building up and building up the design until you feel like you've put enough layers on there and you're happy with what it is that you've achieved. Once you've cut them all out and you're happy with it, then you can just use a glue stick to stick them all down to the surface. If you have any prints left over, then these can just go straight into your sketchbook. 
When you've cut all of these pieces, you might, before you stick anything down, you can see that I haven't stuck any of this and that's quite deliberate because I wanted just to look at it and make sure that I was happy with how it was starting to come together. Um, what you might want to do is just wait until you've cut all of your pieces and you've looked at them and you've made a decision as to whether or not you like it because you might just want to switch them around a little bit. I quite like this where it's starting to come together with being layered up and the same here. So I might end up cutting some more of these small strands out and getting those stuck down onto the surface. Right, so I've got a few bits left over, not very much, one whole print, which I'm actually quite happy to have left because I'll put that in my sketchbook alongside my board. That will make two nice pages. And then I'm gonna stick these down and I think that that's, that's good enough and I'm happy with that. I think they look nice collage together.